Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna review an online portfolio from one of our subscribers. And it's gonna to be today from um, the, the online portfolio from Jordi Fungula. I think it's like that that we pronounce. And uh, yeah, before we start, um, let me just tell you guys that uh, if you want your online portfolio to be reviewed by me, just uh, put a link down below or send me an email and I'll try to, to review at least one portfolio a week, you know, so you guys can see what other junior developers, when they are starting out, what kind of uh, portfolios they have. So you, you can also take some kind of inspiration and compare your skills with uh, other developers. So, yeah, let's, let's start with this. And um, first of all, so we have in here, in this, I'm just going to scroll it quickly. So I guess this is a... Um, one page this is a one page uh, portfolio so in here on the top i would i would suggest um, first of all first of all i'm, I'm going to talk about the the color scheme i i kind of like the color scheme it is not is not bad you know especially when uh, when you are starting out um but I think that I, I would get rid of these kind of uh, grayish colors, you know, because um, especially, you know, when you want to transmit like some kind of image that uh, you, you, you should transmit some kind of positivity, something a bit more bright and everything. Um, if you guys want to go and uh, check out, for example, like colors that work well together, I'm going to make a separate video about it, but I'm just going to show in here. Um, colors that work well together. So you can just put something like this on, on Google and let's open, for example, this one. Um, not this, maybe this one, color combination. I think there was a, a website from in Adobe. In Adobe, there was something like this. Um, so yeah, there is another one, color theory. Yeah, so basically uh, colors that they work well together, you, you can, for example, use, there are many, many um, techniques for this. So for example, this one, if you grab a color wheel, like this one, uh, if you choose, for example, this color in here, whatever colors that are right next to it, if you put them together on your page, um, they will they will look nice, you know, because they they are just next to each other. And also, if you use, for example, let's say you are using um, this blue in here. If you use the color opposite of it on the wheel, these these colors they will also work well together. You, you can see some examples in here. They, they are called complementary colors. So in this example, you see. You grab one color from the wheel in here and then the opposite one. So they are called like complementary colors. So there is a whole theory in this and I, I can make um, just a video on that. But this is something for you guys that when you are starting out and you are choosing the color scheme of your website, I would suggest to use some kind of color schemes that they're a bit more bright, you know, to transmit a lot of positivity and stuff. Uh, because, you know, this, this takes an a, a effect on people uh, looking at your uh, website, you know. So, um, yeah, let's go back to it. Where where was the um, page? Uh, I think it was this one. Yeah. Okay. So, first of all, I, I would just try to change a little bit the color scheme for something a little bit more bright. Try to get rid of these um, grayish. Uh, then we have in here like a menu on the top. I would try to maybe just like uh, space them a little bit. I, I feel like they are too close to each other, these links. Um, yeah, I, I feel they are too cluttered. I don't know if that's the right expression to use. But I feel like they are right too, too close. So yeah, I would space them a little bit. And maybe, you know, when you, we are hovering it, instead of just showing these uh, underline, I would change the color, you know, just just some different in interactivity. Um, and okay, so next next section in here, we have a hero section. Um, I, I think that this hero section in here, 
because you don't have like um, a really specific uh, boxed layout because you don't have um, lines in here on the side, you know. I think that it would look better if you have the, this hero section a bit like a full width because um, this kind of um, boxed layout is something really specific that you, you, you should put like really a box on all the content and maybe a kind of a shadow or something to look like it's really a box. But yeah, I, I would put these maybe um, full width and also if you look in here, this kind of um, background image, there are, so, there are so many images out there on, on the web that you can just grab with, with people, even people that they post on Instagram, like a, a nice laptop with a coffee mug or whatever, you know, this kind of, um, uh, let me put in here quickly. Um, uh, um, laptop and coffee uh images uh, this is just an example look i just put this on google laptop and coffee look so so many nice pictures that you can just grab and just post it in there um and, and to give just a feel that you are a developer and you are coding and taking a coffee or drinking a coffee uh yeah you, you can see so um yeah uh let me go back to here I, I think you could find some kind of image better than this one. You know, it, it, it's not bad, you know, but it, it could look better. This is just my my opinion, you know. I'm not trying to say that, oh my God, this looks horrible. No, it, it looks okay, but it, it could be a bit improved. And also, in here, uh, if you see this, um, you have Jordi Fungula, I guess is your name. And this is my web developer and design portfolio. Um, I, I I think that you could just like replace this this text in here for the web developer, front end web developer or the web designer or whatever you 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 want to promote yourself. Um, just to tell people, okay, George Fungula, uh, front end web developer or a web designer, saying that this is my web developer and design portfolio. Uh, yeah, we, we know that is your portfolio, so you don't really need to put this. I would just put something a bit more simple um, and that's it. Also, this this um, this color that you have in here because of the image that you have, you can't really read it well. So I, I would either put a filter on the top of this image, like to give it some opacity, you know, to make it a bit darker. Or I would choose another font color. So you look, I'm selecting this and now I can read it well. But like this, it's just, it's just blending in and you can't really read it well. So I would do something about this as well. Okay, so we go in next se sections in here. What I do, I'm an aspiring web developer studying code online using various resources. Uh huh. Uh, I am a junior front-end web developer. So in here, basically, we're just repeating the same thing. You, I'm an aspiring web developer. And then you see, I am a junior. Front <laughs> so it, you are a little bit uh, contradicting yourself. Like in here, you are an aspiring web developer. And, and in here, you are saying, I am a junior front-end web developer. So yeah, you, you just have to stick with one. Either you are an aspiring web developer or you are a junior uh, front-end web developer. Um, so in here, it's, it's just like what I say to everyone. Just, just say uh, exactly like here that um, you are a front-end web developer. What kind of languages are you using? And yeah, what kind of experience do you have? What kind of... Um, Websites do you build? In here you say that you build WordPress and uh, um, yeah, yeah. Just just try to say what you do. Um, I feel that uh, in your overall design in here that everything is just like too close to each other. There, there is like no, no breathing room. So if you see in here, look, you have what I do. This is a title. And then you have almost down here without any space after. Uh, th th there should be a little bit of a margin between the sections. Everything is just like, you know, so if you give it, let me, let me just put in here, let's say, uh, 
uh, I don't know how you have in these. So you have this one as a section. Let's say uh, this element, I'm going to give it a, a margin bottom of, let's say, 100 pixels, something like this. Uh, maybe it's too much. So let, let me just. So uh, 70, 60. Look, 60 pixels bottom. Now it looks better. And I'm going to do the same for the top. Margin top. Margin top. Uh, 60 pixels as well. So now look. It, it, it's, look it's looking a little bit better. Because you are giving it a breathing room. Look. A breathing room here on the top. I'm, I'm actually going to put a little bit more. 65 and 65 bottom as well. So you have a little bit of space already here in the top and on the bottom. And I'm going to do the same in this section. And you will see how, how much better does it look. So which one is this section? Uh, ah, you, you actually didn't put this. You know, whenever you are putting these three sections, this one, this one, and this one, you should put them around a div, around the div. So now you could give it a margin top and bottom. So you see now, now you, you, you should put like a kind of a box. It didn't put, but it's all right. So it's something that, uh, that you can improve as well. I'm going to give just this image in here. Uh, you should put this image as well in another section. So I'm going to give it this one, maybe a margin top of 65 pixels as well. Um, ah, right. Probably this is because of some floats. Yeah, you are not clearing the floats. But yeah, I, I would just give a little bit. Maybe I can give it a padding. I'm not sure if, if it's going to work, but I would have to go in and fix this code for you. But <laughs> now it's getting, uh, uh, because you, you gave it the height. Yeah. So let me see. Yeah. Look. Now I give it a little bit of space in here. It's looking much better. So just try, just try to give it a little bit of breathing room in all the sections. Um, yeah. So this is fine. Like I said, you could give a little bit of breathing room in here. And then we have something in here my work. Okay. Few examples of my work. You have check out my GitHub account. Let's click it. Let's go in here. Uh, all right. So we have in here your um, profile picture. Uh -huh, a little bit about yourself. And in here we can see that you are quite active on GitHub. So this is something really good. You know, let's see for 2017. Uh, a little bit. 2018. Quite more. You know, so this this is good. You know, the, um, Possible recruiters or anyone who wants to try to hire, they can see that you are um, that you are active and you are coding frequently. And then, if I click, for example, in one of these, let's say style website, I click it. Okay, we can see the website. Um, if I go in the calculator, we go directly to the GitHub. Is also fine, but. I would I would recommend definitely you know just creating like I mentioned in previous videos create a dedicated page to give a little bit of review about these projects that you are building because you need to talk about it you know you need to tell people about this project what did you do in this project just write down you know to guide people to let them know what did you do in here what were your struggles what 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 was your objective doing this project what kind of languages did you use? Did you use C sharp? Did you use JavaScript? Uh, plain HTML and CSS? Uh, you know, uh, just tell people what what your main objective in this project, what you were trying to do, and yeah, th these kind of things. You know, it, it really helps out, guys. Don't just put something like this to open to the website straight away without giving any content. You know, like. So yeah, this is something that I, I would really advise. Then we have a contact me section. It's it's all right, you know. I, I think you could improve the design a little bit, but it's not bad. Um, and then in the end, you got Georgie uh, Fungula portfolio. So 
Yeah, I, I guess I guess that's it. You know, uh, uh, this is the main point I I, I would do to uh, to improve your uh, your portfolio. And yeah, I I, I really I guess I guess that's it for um, for this video, guys. Um, if you want me to review your portfolio as well, uh, just send me send me your URL of your uh, portfolio in the comments on this video, or send me an email. And like I said, I, I will try to review at least one one portfolio a week. And uh, thank you, thank you, Jordi, for, uh, for your um, for sending me your portfolio to review. Uh, like I said, your, your portfolio lo looks okay. You know, you are starting out. I remember my own portfolio when I did for the first time was horrible, and your looks uh, much better than mine. Uh, so yeah, you can improve, obviously. Every now, if I'm gonna build a, a portfolio for myself now, it's gonna look much better than the, the first one that I did when I was starting out. And this is gonna be the same with you, you know. Um, when we are practicing, we just get better and better, and that's it. I, I'll just try to give a bit of more advices as well on web design. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you like this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if this is your uh, first video, you know, and share it with your friends, and I'll see you in the next video.